Which singer has the best voice in your opinion? Ella Fitzgerald. I am blown away by her skill every time I hear a new song of hers there's a lot. She could sing literally anything and make it sound beautiful. Karen Carpenter's voice was fantastic. I adore Marvin Gaye. And Wilson from Heart. That's a voice which has power and smoothness. I could and do listen to her voice all day long. Etta James. Pavarotti had an absolutely amazing voice. Jeff Buckley. Absolutely unreal range and control. His guitar skills are no joke either. Otis Redding. I've got dreams to remember. Stunning. Bjork is a close second for me. Unison slays me. Linda Ronstadt. Whitney Houston. Chris Cornell. Rip. Patsy Klein. Sam Cooke. Freddie Mercury. Lane Staley's voice has had an impact on me like no other. To me I love Ronnie James Dio's voice, absolutely epic. George Michael. Brandy Carlisle. Saw her in concert and not a single note was off pitch, she has the vocal power and control of a classically trained opera singer and is so versatile between rock, folk, country and pop sounds. Floor Jansen. A young Robert Plant. Look up dazed and confused London 1969. Steve Perry. Roy Orbison. Tracy Chapman and Sinead O'Connor beautiful voices. Art Garfunkel. I'm seeing lots of names of singers who are no longer with us RIP but a living singer that really moves me is Hoshia. I've only heard of him recently, and I can't get enough. Florence Welsh. Bruce Dickinson. Nick Cave. If Satan was a lounge singer. Deloriza Ridden. Connor Mason nothing but thieves. His voice makes me feel things I don't feel otherwise sorry makes me feel sorry even when there's nothing to be sorry for about. Roberta Flack has to be in the discussion here. KD Language. She is known for her version of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, but her voice really shines in Roy Orbison's Crying, both the duet with Roy and her solo version. Mike Patton. Most versatile vocalist I've ever heard. Peter Steele the guy had such a beautiful voice. Dolly Parton. Like fine crystal. Certainly not my favorite artist, but I've always appreciated how Bruno Mars sounds the same as the recordings when he performs live. Also fantastic entertainer all round. Kate Bush, she is such an amazing singer smiling face with heart-shaped eyes. Stevie Nicks. Muse frontman Matt Bellamy. Amy Lee of Evanescence. Chris Cornell. He's got so much in his voice it's insane. It's hard to match his passion honestly. Maynard James Keenan. Paul Rogers. Male Nat King Cole, female Grace Slick. No love for Eva Cassidy? Utterly effortless. Devin Townsend. I am gonna get a lot of hate for this. But M. Shadows from Avenged Sevenfold. People love or hate him, but he's not only unique. The overall style and feel of Avenged just match his voice well, and no matter how many metalcore bands pop up, no band will ever match them. In recent years, though, his live performances have dropped off. But what can you expect? He had vocal surgery in 2002 and has had to take at least a break or two to prevent permanent vocal damage. Ronnie James Dio. I tend to prefer cool or weird voices over technically excellent ones. So people like David Bowie, Janis Joplin, and even Bob Dylan are my jam. 
I realize the latter sounds like a dying cat to many people, but he's awesome at it. Mamarkas or Jeff Buckley Amy Winehouse Andrea Bocelli Hayley Williams of Paramore is an absolute talent. Eric Burden Disappointing no one mentioned Billie Holiday. Celine Dion How do I not see Whitney Houston mentioned here already? Charlie Day Michael Jackson A few that I haven't seen that deserve a mention. Natalie Merchant Dido Nina Simone Sade Adu. Adele, there is something that hits me when I hear her. A lot of metal singers actually. Jeff Buckley. Tom Waits, yes, I know. Chester Bennington. Vessel from Sleep Token. Grace Slick. I'm a rock enthusiast, so I have to go with a lesser known singer with absurd vocal range. Miljenko Matijevic of Steelheart. His vocals were used to back Mark Wahlberg singing in the film Rockstar 2001. He has mad pipes and is definitely slept on as one of the greatest rock singers of all time. Corey Taylor. Miles Kennedy. I think Chris Stapleton is one of the most impressive vocalists around today. These days among the living? Coulter Wall. No auto-tuning. Pure voice. Current? Kelly Clarkson is the first one that came to mind. I saw her do some singing show and her and Ariana Grande went back and forth singing different songs. She nailed every single one, including Whitney Houston. Jeff Buckley is up there for me. Luther Vandross, R.I.P. Alison Krauss. Edit misspelled. No one touches Steve Perry in his prime. Will Ramos. Prince. My favorite artist of all time. Sarah Burials. Among the living Lady Gaga. Among the dead Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. Eddie Vedder. Danny Elfman. Frank Sinatra had a once-in-a-lifetime set of pipes. No one is really comparable IMO. Kelly Clarkson. She can sing anything, any genre, and sound amazing. Me in the shower. All of these comments are not a single mention of Tori Amos. So I'll say it. Tori Amos. Serge Tankian. His voice is what made me fall in love with System of a Down. Freddie Mercury. Hands down. Corey Glover, Living Color. Serge Tankian. Jewel. If I was suddenly gifted a singing voice I would want to sing just like Jewel. Annie Lennox. Gerard Way. Alison Krauss could sing the dictionary and I'd listen. Lady Gaga. And Hayley Williams from Paramore. Mark Langan Lane Staley for me. Chester Bennington Rip. His voice always blew me away. His vocal range was incredible. Karen Carpenter.